ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome, welcome to my uh, final let's play, my final side let's play before, sorry, for LEGO Star Wars Complete Saga, and today we are going to be doing Sonic the Hedgehog for the Sega Mega Drive, if you can't tell by the title by now. And obviously I'm, like Sonic 1, I'm playing this on the Sega Mega Drive Ultimate Collection, which means I'm using Save States. Yeah, call me cheat, I don't care, but... This game's hard, and that, you know, I do it with all the other 2D Sonic games as well. But anyway, anyway. Um, yeah, so this is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. What many consider to be the best Sonic game ever made. I disagree, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah. So... This, uh, we're gonna start out in them whole Hill Zone 1. Now, this game... I mean, I'll, I'll go into more detail about my opinions later when I get to the live commentary. Yeah, sorry, this is post commentary because, um... Okay, I'll explain. Uh... When I was recording this, the reason why I'm doing post commentary on the first part and for a bit of the second part is because... It is possible to get... Basically, the way you get Chaos Emeralds in this game is different. You still do special stages, but the thing is, you get 50 rings, and then you go to a checkpoint, and you basically just about jump up into it, if it's sparkling, after you've got 50 rings. Now, how you get to the special stages, so, yeah, that's how you get to the special stages, it's, a bit, it's quite a bit different to the, uh, how you do in Sonic 1. You still get 50 rings, but instead of jumping into a ring at the end of the stage, you just, um... You just uh, jump up into the checkpoint. Now, it is po now it is actually possible because I believe there's four in Act One and three in Act Two, or one, the way around. It is possible to get all the um, uh, Chaos Emeralds in the first zone, Emerald Hill, which you, obviously, as you can see, is basically just a, a, a graphical update of Green Hill Zone from Sonic One with the addition of corkscrews. Now. This, um, now, the thing is, I attempted to actually get all the Chaos Emeralds in this, in, in Emerald Hill, but I only found three in each act, so, so three checkpoints in each act, so, I get six of the Chaos Emeralds in this part, and the seventh in the next part. So, it's going to be post commentary for a bit. Now, one of the big reasons why I think this is the weakest of the Sonic the Hedgehog trilogy is because of these special stages. They are horrible. Literally, seriously, they are awful. Like, <sighs> okay. So basically, what you do here is you um is you basically go around collecting rings. And you basically collect it to a certain amount. And there are actually quite a bit few rings in uh, each section, but the problem is there's, there's going to be obstacles in your way. I mean, the first couple special stages aren't that bad, but like when you get to like special stage four, three or four onwards, it becomes brutal. With special stage six being the worst. Now. When you, now, one of the um, uh, new features that Sonic the Hedgehog 2 added was the ability to play with um, Miles Tails Prower, who made his debut in the Game Gear version, which takes place before this. But this was the first six game that most people play, because no one cares about the Game Gear game, 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 game Gear games. Um, all Master, Master System games. Um, this was the first game that most people played that had Tails in it. Now, Tails and... Usually I just played this game with Sonic alone, because in the special stages, Tails can screw you over, majorly. Like, um... I think there was one point where I was... The thing is, with the special stages, you have to jump at a certain... Like, you have to jump early to ensure that Tails doesn't lose his rings. If, if like, there's all of the bombs in the way, you have to jump. Because if you just jump at a regular time, like, just in time to avoid it, Tails, he jumps, like, a second after you, so he will... He will get hurt if you're, like, the slightest millisecond late. You have to be perfect, so I don't want to But... 
Yeah, so for this run, th that's the main reason why I use save states. Because the special stages are horribly hard and just freaking difficult. And also to add to that, it's just they're not fun. And so also to add to that, some of the later levels in this game can really screw you over. As you're going to see as we get later on into the live commentary. The last two parts are going to be fail fests. So you have that to look forward to. Okay, so yeah. So, hmm. This is, uh, yeah, so basically this is, this is Sonic 2. Honestly. I don't know. That. So it's pretty good. But, once again, not the best Sonic game like most people say it is. Let alone the best of trilogy. The best of trilogy will be getting get into, get into that after the next game because... Now I said that, um... I basically said at the end of this Let's Play, I say what the next side Let's Play is going to be. Which you'll see whenever we get to that. But I didn't say what the next Sonic game would be. The next Sonic game we're going to be tackling after this is Sonic CD, just letting you know right now. Because it was going to be Sonic CD, but then I remembered. Oh shit, Sonic CD. <laughs> but yeah. So... That's uh, that's basically going to be the formula for, for I say formula. That's going to be the um, what we're going to be doing these two D games in. Now, I I probably go as far to say Sonic Two has the absolute worst um, special stages of all the two D Sonic games, but same time Sonic Four Episode Two, you're kind of forced to use Tails in that game, so I'm not sh sure whether to say that's worse. And also, I, I don't know, Sonic 4 Episode 2 has terrible special stages as well. But that, but that's only really because Sonic 2 did it first. But Sonic 4 Episode 2, the special stages are just as bad. However, I say Sonic 2 and Sonic 4 Episode 2 have uh, the worst special stages in a 2D Sonic game because, believe it or not, there's one 3D game that has um, special stages worse than these, and we all know what that is. Drumroll please. Sonic the Sorry. Sonic Heroes. <sighs> Screw the special stages in Sonic Heroes. We might get to that depending on or not on whether I can get all the Chaos Emeralds, because I haven't gotten all the Chaos Emeralds yet in that game. So, I don't know, we might be doing Sonic Heroes in the future. I don't know yet. I need to get working on it actually, because um, because you know, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try and hold off the three Sonic games for as long as I can, because I think the only two games I'll be doing before Sonic Heroes, if which I probably will end up doing, will be uh, Sonic Adventure One and Two. I really do want to do Sonic Heroes before I, you know, move on to more 3D games like Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic 06, and Sonic Unleashed, and all that, because. Sonic Heroes. I do want to do Shadow the Hedgehog at some point because I'm uh, I don't know. I just find that game to be a bit of a guilty pleasure, and I can find enjoyment out of that, and I can beat it. I just need to get all ten enemies again because my save file got corrupted. I need to do the last story again. That it. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I do want to do Shadow the Hedgehog at some point. Because I don't want to just leave it at Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, then go straight to Sonic, o Sonic 06 or something like that. Because... I don't know, just Sonic Heroes continues in the story of Sonic Adventure 2 and is sort of the prologue to Shadow the Hedgehog. Do you know what I mean? With, with like Team Dark Stone and stuff like that. So, yeah. I just need to practice a lot with Sonic Heroes, to be honest. If I don't really find the game that enjoyable, but I still kind of want to do it anyway. The story's sake, but I don't know. I might ho I might hold you off with like one of the versions of Sonic Unleashed or something like that. But yeah, so Sonic, yeah, um, Sonic Heroes. If I end up getting all the Chaos Emeralds in that run, I'm not going to be doing all the special stages on like. I may, on the Let's Play file, I'm just gonna go to my main file and do the, the last story, because if, if I do get all the Chaos Emeralds, because 
I don't know. <laughs> they're, they're just getting all the chaos emblems is so frustrating. And the worst part is, cut is at least with Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and this also goes for Sonic 4 Episode 2 as well. With Sonic Heroes and Sonic 4 Episode 2, you can't use safe states. At least there's a way to play Sonic 2 with safe states. Well, I don't have a play way to play uh, Sonic Heroes or Sonic 4 Episode 2 with safe states anyway. So I only I own Sonic Heroes on the GameCube and I own Sonic 4 Episode 2 on the PlayStation Network, so yeah. The original PlayStation Network. But yeah, so this is just uh, another special stage. There's really not much to say about the, the, this, about the game in this part, because this is just mostly me screwing around trying to get 50 rings and getting to get to the checkpoints. And also, um, and also just me trying to get all the chaos emeralds, so, yeah. You're hardly going to see me running around trying to get to the goalpost or whatever. Now, with uh, with this game, with Sonic 2, oh shit, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> um, oh, I lost the train of thought all of a sudden. Hmm. Right, okay. I don't know, just... Oh, oh yeah, I remember what I was going to say now. If you hear like a music skip or anything, it's because that um, that uh, shot of the video is taking place literally after I just made a save state, so... Yeah, music skips. It's not like a glitch with the game on the video or anything, it's just... It's just me trying to uh, get... F uh, start a new part of... A new block of filming, new scene, straight after I make a save state, right there. But yeah. But these special stages, I don't know. I'll just let the video speak for itself, really. Sonic got through Act 1. Now we move into Emerald Hill Zone 2. I don't know why they don't call it Act 2. I don't know. But yeah. Okay. But what I do know with the Sonic games at least is that I'm definitely going to be doing all the 2D games. Well, not all the 2D games, but all the 2D games that I want to do before uh, before the 3D games. Right. Okay. The way this is going to work, I'm just going to do the original Sonic Hedgehog trilogy. Like, I'm going to be doing, after this, Sonic CD, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 with uh, Sonic and Tails. Uh, Sonic and Knuckles with both as separate Sonic Run and a Knuckles Run. And the last time, when I did Sonic and Knuckles on my main channel, I didn't do a Knuckles Run, so that should be interesting. So I don't think I've ever played the game, through the game with Knuckles before. I might have done one before, but... Yeah. And, uh, then it'll, then it'll be like, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 4, Episodes 1, Metal and 2. Then I'll be moving on to the 3D games starting with Sonic Adventure. With the 3D Sonic games, to be honest, I don't think I'm going to do them all 100% because that's just too much hassle for me. Like, the 3D Sonic games are the exception to the rule of doing them 100%. I don't know, I might do, we'll see. At the time. Sonic 4. I'm not sure if I'll be doing it. Sonic CD 4, 1 and 2. I don't think I'll be doing it. A 100% trophy one of those. I, 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 I remember actually after I finished doing Sonic 1, because I played it on Mega Drive Collection, Ultimate Collection, obviously. I, I, I remember thinking to myself, shit, I, I, I kind of regret not doing the official PSM version, because then I would have been able to do an all trophy run. And you know, that, that's the purpose of this new channel, it's to do like, get like all the trophies in games, that's what I mean by 100%. So, yeah. <sighs> so Sonic's one and two. If I was to do them again now, I mean I could have done Sonic two on PSM. But I just thought, no, I've already done Sonic one on Mega Drive Ultimate Collection. I don't know. 
think it's kind of too late to be honest. Let me know if you want to see me do the PSN versions, you know, getting Ultra and all that. Uh, but Sonic CD ep and Episode f and Sonic 4, those games I might do an Ultra if you run off, I don't know yet. And as for Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, they're not on the PSN. And obviously they're, they're part of the original trilogy as well, so I think it'd be too late for them anyway. Right. So we got the fourth Chaos Emerald. Now, Special Stage 5 is, the, is where things start to get really tough. And you'll see, whenever we get to that, I just fail miserably. Because we're going to be coming up to the checkpoint pretty soon. And I know this is, um... This is like... Whenever I did this game on my main channel, funnily enough, funnily enough I think the part 1 was like 42 minutes, so I ended up getting all the Chaos Emeralds there. This... This time I've, I've done just one emerald left, and it's because I've spent less time screwing around here, looking for checkpoints and getting rings. But and I've, I've probably cut more out as well, because I've basically cut out all the fail attempts to find checkpoints, or I've cut out all the fail attempts to okay. Sorry, <laughs> I just got a text there. Um. Sorry, um, lost my train of thought. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, so it's special stage five. I've cut out all the fail failed attempts with like uh, me uh, failing at a special stage and uh, and just not screwing up, just screwing up. Because there's no point if it's live commentary because you can't get, you don't get to see the, the real frustration unless it's live commentary. Really, you can only use your imagination. But yeah, so special stage five. Going into the second section here, you'll notice how I've lost a ring. Oh, my ring count will change, yeah. See? Because, uh, what happened there is when I tried making a save state on that part, I ended up loading the save state I already made. So I kind of, uh, failed there. So I had to start the special stage over. So there's another successful attempt that I, that I basically, because I just thought, what, what the hell, I'll just put in the first successful attempt. Because I think it looks better anyway, because I got more rings. And, uh, yeah. Now this last section, actually no, that's special stage 6 coming up. But the frustrating thing about these special stages are, you're best if you get more rings than required in one section. In time for the next section, because the next section, chances are you're not going to get all the rings required. And, that is absolutely frustrating, because it's near impossible to do. Chances are, because of all the bombs that are surrounding you, if you're just like a casual player of this game like me, you're not going to get all the Chaos Emeralds. You're like, I I'm so glad I used save states in this game, because if I didn't use save states, if I, didn't, if I couldn't use save states, I probably wouldn't be able to beat the game, let alone get all the Chaos Emeralds. And you'll, you'll get to see how hard this game is, just how hard this game can be later on whenever we get to like, Metropolis Zone and uh, Oil Ocean. Oh, my God. Metropolis especially. Metropolis. Yeah. Also, I'd say Wing Fortress and Sky Chase, but those are more challenging than actually cheap. But Metropolis is just the ultimate oh, death trap. The ultimate torture machine. But yeah. As for the, the Sonic games, how far will I go? At least to, basically with the 3D games I plan to do. Sonic Adventure, Sonic Adventure 2, possibly Sonic Heroes and Shadow the Hedgehog, Sonic 06, Sonic Unleashed, both versions. Uh, actually no, probably Sonic and the Secret Rings first. I, I, I might... Sonic Unleashed, both versions. Sonic Colors. Uh, Sonic Generations, and then, possibly after that, I'll do Sonic and the Secret Rings and Sonic and the Black Knight. Not looking forward to Secret Rings, because I've only played through it once and haven't touched it since, and it's incredibly hard. But I'm thinking of, uh, I don't know, maybe starting out the 3D Sonic games with the SD version of Sonic Unleashed or something like that. 
and maybe just saving. Actually, no. I'm thinking after I do Sonic Generations, maybe I'll after Sonic Colors, one of those. I'll I'll do the SD version of Sonic Unleashed. So I know I'm definitely doing the HD version in between uh, 06 and Colors. So yeah. The story about games I'm saving for last though. Alright, so now it's time for special stage number six. This I had so many fail attempts on, it was just honestly. This I failed so hard at. Sorry, I'm just uh, checking my phone there. Um, I'm going out with my friend today for a birthday. But, uh, yeah. Just had to sort something out. Final arrangements, stuff like that. Okay. Ah, oh dear. Sorry, uh, sorry if that uh, awkward silence there, guys. I just lost my train of thought again. I'm losing my train of thought so much today, but actually, one thing I should probably point out: this is actually my first time playing through this. I I'm not sure if I pointed that out earlier, but like I said, I I play through this game usually with Sonic World. I know I said that earlier. Now this last section took me forever to do. I've like a full two pages of uh, failed attempts. But, yeah, so, I'm not sure if, I mean, I know I said I usually play this game with Sonic alone, but this, that means this is my first time actually playing through this game all the way through with both Sonic and Tails. And I suppose Tails, in this game, if you have him as, have him as like, his partner, like, computer partner, he can be quite useful, because he, he'll take loads, he'll take a bullet for you every time, and he has unlimited lies, and he's cool, I like Tails. But at the same time, in the special stages, that's where it can get pretty bad. But yeah. Okay. Emerald Hill Zone again. And no, that's all the, the Chaos Emeralds are going to get in this video. And I'm just going back for some rings in case we need them for the boss here. Okay. Right. So yeah. I've pretty much uh, explained everything. Just need to go to the Emerald Hill boss. And it's the return of Dr. Robotnik. Okay, this boss is pretty easy. You can get pretty much, uh, just avoid the spike at the front of his, uh, car and you can get two hits on him apiece. Possibly more if, if, uh, Tails is actually, um, actually bothers to bounce like the good one. So I believe Tails can also kill enemies. I mean, I know Tails can kill enemies, so I'm not sure if he can hurt Dr. Robotnik opposite directions right okay so that's gonna do it for part one guys of let's play Sonic the Hedgehog 2 for the Sega Mega Drive usually it would be longer but again this is post commentary and I just found this easier I'd like it took me like an hour and a half to record all of this but then I'm gonna wait for back in between join me next time when we do uh, the second zone in the game chemical plant and get the last chaos emerald <laughs>